Sandro Botticelli was born in Florence, Italy around 1440. Early in his life, he took up an apprenticeship with Filippo Lippi, where he was taught much of his skills in ethics. By 40, he was considered a master and was contributing to works as great as the Sistine Chapel. His most famous work is Venus and Mars. Botticelli died May 17, 1510. He was considered a great humanist, and his artworks displayed this. Different from many artists during his time, he focused on non-religious things more than religious things. He believed it was good to focus on how humans affected the world rather than accepting that divine intervention was behind everything. Botticelli also combines Roman ideals with the modern day ideals as he paints Venus very frequently and ties it to modern events. When, he was, when it comes to painting Venus and Mars, you must analyze it deeply to understand what's really happening. On the first look, it seems as though two women are asleep. However, upon further study of this picture, you can understand the meaning of the image. Venus, the Roman god of beauty, is on the left. She is awake and aware of her surroundings and almost studying Mars. On the right, Mars is exhausted from something. Due to stories and ideas about Venus, it can be inferred that Mars is exhausted from love. Not even the beings around him can wake him up from his slumber. Mars is also barely clothed. Venus is fully clothed. This could be looked at as a joke towards men trying to woo women. In this case, Mars has tried too hard to woo Venus and is exhausted from it. Botticelli also utilizes his ability to use line as he clearly depicts the emotion of the characters through his painting. As we look deeper into the history behind the painting and the strong message that Botticelli might be saying about men, we must dissect the two, ma the two main characters depicted in his artwork. Venus, the goddess of love, encompasses love, beauty, prosperity, and victory. Venus has the ability to give military victories and fortune. Mars, the god of war, is known for going out and doing. In Roman mythology, which Botticelli based much of his art off of, Mars and Venus had a child named Cupid. This is why Botticelli might have put them together in this painting. Botticelli had ways of painting differently from other artists. He knew about the human anatomy and was a big follower of Roman mythology and found a way to connect the modern painting and trends with a more gothic and simple way of painting. Botticelli did things differently. His painting showed his legendary techniques and conveyed a stronger, detailed, and yet a simpler message than his peers. Botticelli was a master.